All right, y'all, right now we're at Thorn Creek Crossing, which has uh, tons of stuff, by the way. Super Target, World Market, Barnes & Noble, Michaels, uh, Sprouts, and I don't know, a bunch of other stuff. And that's because today's video, we're talking Thornton, Colorado. Should have done this place earlier, to be honest, but uh, you know, we're doing it now. Let's do it. My friends, my name is Jesse Lynch, and I work with the hardest working real estate team in the game. We are called Welcome to Denver, and you can check out our website, welcome to denver.co. But this YouTube channel, it's here for you as a resource to really to help you find the right place to call home, a place to land here in beautiful Denver, Colorado. And that's whether you're buying a house for the first time or relocating here from a different city, state, country, planet, dimension, whatever it is. So, first time home buyers and relocations, that's what we do. That's what we specialize in and that's what we do better than anybody else so, so if any of that appeals to you do me a favor do yourself a favor subscribe to this channel and click that little bell to get notified every time we put out a video just like this one and uh, if you wouldn't mind give the video a thumbs up say something nice or helpful or funny or uh, apps weird in the comments and I'd appreciate that very very much and as always if you are thinking about moving to Denver really anywhere in Colorado get a hold of us and we will crush it for you. You can go to our website, welcome to denver.co. We have a contact form that you can fill out in like 30 seconds or less, or you can just shoot us an email directly to info at welcome to denver.co. It'll lead to the same inbox. So totally up to you, how you do it, which route you take as far as that goes. Uh, they all work the same for us. And I said it at the top of today's video, we're looking at Thornton, Colorado. You probably can't see it back here, but it's a pretty beautiful view of the Rockies from right here. And right, th this intersection over here is Thornton Parkway in Washington, uh, very much a commercial hub. There are several of those in Thornton. Thornton is one of, you know, one of the, I don't know, I would say top 10 most like complete suburbs, just so much going on. So many so, like, suburban amenities. Anyhow, let's go for a drive, show you around. I'm gonna meet up with Jen in here in a second. And then, uh, yeah, let's check it out. here in Thornton at the East Lake Park. As you can see behind us, there's a little playground. We're about to go on a nice gravel path here. And the gravel path takes you on a loop around the reservoir that's a mile and a half. Perfect dog walking loop in the morning or evenings. Yeah. Uh, really, really nice here. It's, it's right in the middle of a bunch of neighborhoods. Yeah. This is a suburban neighborhood. Yeah, it's a, it's a suburban neighborhood and Thornton is honestly pretty huge. Um, it's kind of surprising we haven't done it yet. It's the sixth largest uh, suburb by population, not definitely not by landmass, but by population. In Denver, 150,000 or so people live here. And like we, we recently did Westminster and it has so much in common with that where it's like so many different versions of like lifestyles exist within Thornton. Uh, you're 20 ish minutes, 25 minutes to downtown Denver, maybe 30 minutes uh, to the Denver airport. And you know, it's pretty convenient all in all. Yeah, you will have plenty of shopping options in Thornton. You'll never have to drive far to get anything. There's many, many shopping centers. There's three main ones. There's also some really nice um, outdoor areas to go shopping, like those little outdoor mall areas that have cute cafes um, and restaurants. So the nice part about being in a big suburb like this is you are, you know, you don't have to leave the suburb that you're in to get what you need. Yeah, yeah, very complete. Um, and we, we do have a good amount of people asking us about Thornton. I think just because it's so big and there's there's so many houses. Um, <laughs> and it's not one of those areas that has, you know, like Boulder has a premium. Uh, Thornton is still relatively affordable compared to some other suburbs here. Yeah, so like kind of in that sweet spot of like, you know, first time home buyer range, people are like, what's going on here? You know, what's this place like? 
and very much like Westminster, it depends, you know? And, and I would say Aurora too, you know, it's one of these places where you can't really, and Lakewood, I don't know, tons of places, but you can't blanket statement it. It's so big, population is so large, that similar to like Denver, it's like, well, it very much depends where you are, what it feels like. And that shows itself in the schools pretty evidently. Um, like Westminster, there's actually four, four school districts that serve Thornton. Uh, they range from B plus, and that overlaps with, with Westminster, well, hard to say. say Westminster uh, <laughs> and Wor Worcester, yeah, back yeah, to yeah. back. Yeah. Um, and, that's Adams 12 uh, five-star schools that get to B plus. So that serves the majority of Thornton, which is good news. Uh, it, the central, southwest, west, northwest uh, sections of Thornton are served by that school district, which is the best school district in Thornton. All, again, all according to nice.com. Then you have school district 27J, be honest, I haven't even heard of that. Uh, <laughs> that, that serves the north, central, and northeastern portion of, of Thornton. That gets a C plus. And there's Mapleton Public Schools. That gets a C. And then down to Adams County School District number 14. Uh, that serves a very small portion of the eastern and southeastern part of Thornton. And that gets a D minus, which I gotta say is one of the worst uh, ratings I've seen for a school district. So if you don't have kids, great place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And very much like Westminster, it like it depends on where you are as far as like what is available to you uh, evident in schools and the housing prices are going to vary quite dramatically throughout Thornton um, and uh, again like Westminster it's pretty much going to be consistent with where those school districts land yeah depending on what part of Thornton you are, you are in the housing prices range quite a bit. 27% of people here rent and 73% own. Uh, so a lot of homeowners, still a pretty good chunk of renters though. Yeah. The entry point to get into Thornton is, is probably around 300K. And then it goes all the way up to houses. The most expensive listing right now is 2.8 million. Yeah. Uh, so basically up to 3 million. Um, I mean, you can get a luxury home anywhere here in greater Denver area. So Thornton is no exception. It seems like the closer you get to Broomfield, the more expensive the houses get, the more Northwest you go. Yeah. So yeah, anywhere from 300K up to basically 3 million. Yeah, yeah and uh, you know, very diverse housing stock, you know, where it's like, it's for the most part, it's gonna range where it gets newer, the further out you go. Um, but depend, like there's a sweet spot in the middle of like very affordable, relatively to the median of Denver. And also like, very accessible, very convenient, and just like very nice, you know, like 80s, 90s houses. They're not wildly expensive here. Well, median housing price is 585. Yeah. So. Yeah, which I mean, that's considerably lower than the median of the whole Denver Metro. And, you know, right in that sweet spot, right by that median, there's like some very good housing stock. We are here in a beautiful neighborhood in Thornton. It's called The Haven, right by The Haven Park. Uh, really nice neighborhood. We were just pointing out how a lot of these houses have massive wraparound uh, front um, porches, which is kind of rare here. Yeah. Uh, this neighborhood was built in the early 2000s, so about 20-ish years old. I know there's one house for sale down the street, and it was built in 2003. I think they probably put most of this neighborhood in about 20 years ago. Yep. Uh, so not an old neighborhood, but it's also not brand new. So the, the trees are all mature. Uh, has a really nice, quiet feel to it. Beautiful parks. Big and houses too. Like, big houses, yeah. big front. I can't get over the front porches. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, they're massive too. Very like Southern style front yeah. porches. Um, big, good lot sizes here. Big, big open street. I know people with kids uh, like really love the the big streets. You don't have to worry about like your kids playing and cars cramping it. Yeah. You can park on the street and still have plenty of street room to drive through. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's really, really nice spot. And it just kind of shows off like some of the 
you know, and not even like the epic side of Thorn, but some of like the nicer side of Thorn. You know, there's a again a huge gradient, uh, which we'll talk about in the pros and cons. So, first pro for me is basically just all the suburban amenities. It's like it's crazy. I shot already here like two suburban amenity spots and so many things. So such easy access to that. If that's like you know important to your lifestyle. That is, uh, you will get a lot of that here. Another great part of living in Thornton is we're in this beautiful, beautiful neighborhood that has great amenities. Uh, the HOA is $69 a month, but you have access to so many things. So it feels kind of luxurious, but it's not a luxury price tag neighborhood. You don't need a million dollars to live here. There's, um, I think just based off looking at some listings around here, 700K uh, gets, gets you in this neighborhood. So that's not too far off of the median Pretty of Thornton. Close, yeah. uh, so you can just live in a beautiful, calm, kid-friendly neighborhood with great schools. Uh, without spending seven figures to be here. Yeah. And the location of this neighborhood is very desirable because you're right, literally right off of 470 and you're also right off of 25. So whether you're commuting north or you're commuting south, it doesn't matter where you're going, you can be hop on the freeway very, very quickly here. Yeah, like the convenience level, very high. Close to Denver, close to Boulder, obviously all of those suburban conveniences. So, you know, when I think of like suburban lifestyle, like that's the important stuff. Like, like you're not walkable to shops here, right? That's not even close to the lifestyle <laughs> that you're getting here, but you, you're not so far away from any of that stuff. Well, based off looking at people's backyards and, and front yards and front porches and the furniture and the playgrounds, I don't think people really are too interested in leaving is when they don't have to. Yeah, yeah. I was saying that I think like this neighborhood feels like sort of American dream-ish where it's like, the, I don't know, like a stock photo of like the perfect, like idyllic yeah. neighborhood. You know, uh, <laughs> sorry, Bob. <laughs> well, it just wants to play. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a cool one. Um, no. an another uh, pro I'm going to say is that you do have really nice park spaces. We talked about that already, uh, but there's several uh, really, really nice park spaces. And there's a lot of like open space in general, a lot of empty, undeveloped space as you drive through Thorn. Yeah, so there is, there really is something here for everyone in Thornton. It's like uh, what Jesse said in one of our other videos about Westminster. If you plop Thornton in the middle of nowhere, you would have everything you need. True. So the entry point um, is doable for first time home buyers. It's also, if you want a, a luxury style home, that's here. And then if you just want a, you know, middle class, suburban house, this is the perfect place to do it. Yeah. Um, there's also, you know, like we talked about the schools, there are, great schools in Thornton. There are some that we would definitely warn you about. They're not ranked the best, yeah. uh, but there is a huge variety. Yeah, and you know, that pro just like potentially, uh, potential access to great homes. Where we are right now, or not homes, I'm sorry, schools. Where we are right now, definitely great schools. Um, it's that Adams 12 uh, school district. That's the best schools in Thornton. Um, so if that's priority, I would probably look for that. But that does lead to the first con, which is that not all the schools are good. And in fact, there's several like you know, different school districts that are just like mediocre or less that serve Thornton. That said, Adams 12 serves most of Thornton, but nonetheless, it's like a, hey, you gotta just make sure that you know where you're ending up in Thornton and what school district it's in. So going off of one of our pros that there's easy access to so much stuff in the suburb of Thornton, that could also be a con for some people because there's not that quaint downtown area where you have family owned businesses and like there's no Main Street or Old Town Thornton. There's, there's plenty of that scattered throughout Thornton, but if you're looking to, to pop to a, a downtown area that's just for Thornton, you don't really have that here. Yeah, and I would say, Piggybacking off that, there's kind of not all that much charm in general, similar to Westminster that we said, like, it's just, it's kind of bland. It's like a classic suburb. It's, well, it's like ultra suburb. Yeah, like, there's nothing wrong with that. It's beautiful. But if you are looking for, some people want those renovated early 1900 yeah. bungalows, you're not going to find that in Thornton. Yeah. Maybe on the epic home front, the, you know, as you get there, you might find something, I don't know if I'd call it charm, but uh architectural interest or something mountain like that. views yeah you know that kind of you can definitely get a luxury home that has those epic views yeah but yeah probably not the you know charming historic 
feel of neighborhoods that, that some other parts of Denver have. Yeah, which I think is just, you know, it's a suburb and it's classic. It's like a classic suburb, chain restaurants, chain just about everything. Um, and so if that's what you're looking for, or if you're okay with that, knowing that you have all the other pros, then still a really good spot. Um, and I think, I think last con that I can really think of is like there's some areas with lower pride of ownership. Um, probably in the cheaper home areas, the, the pride of ownership goes down a little bit, but even sprinkled through Thornton, there's some like industrial, like, like I don't know, like farmy operations that it just is not that aesthetically pleasing uh, of, a, of a spot. But uh, most of Thornton I would say is, but yeah, there's some of that. Yeah. All right, let's go for a drive and then we can talk through some other spots that you might want to consider if you're liking what you see here in Thornton. right now I'm at Carpenter Park here in Thornton. This is a huge park space with a lot going on. Uh, one of the one of the nicer parks in the Denver metro area just as far as municipal parks go. It's also got a really great looking skate park over yonder, uh, the city of Thornton skate park. Um, there's a lake down here like it, it really is a quite, a quite a dynamic park. Obviously tennis courts, there's basketball courts, there's a uh, playground uh, Etc. A lot of stuff going on here. Very cool park, but I figured this was a good spot to talk through uh, the four fans of section, right? If you if you watch these videos, you know that we do a little section that I like to call the four fans of section, which is to say, if you like uh, what you see here in Thornton, here are some other spots that you might want to check out because they have similarities, similar vibes, similar characteristics, similar lifestyles, and all that. I like to say it's like back in the day when it was like, hey, do you like? My Chemical Romance, then check out, I don't know, Fall Out Boy? I don't know, T 10 of y'all might get that, that's cool. But before I get into that, I just wanna say, if you're thinking about moving here to Denver, if you already live here and you're trying to buy a house or need any kind of real estate services at all, get a hold of us and we will crush it for you. Nobody will work harder for you than we will. You can go to our website, welcometodenver.co. We have a contact form there that you can fill out in 30 seconds or less, or you can just shoot us an email directly to info at welcometodenver.co. They lead to the same spot. Totally up to you how you do it, which way you do it, but we definitely think that you should. All right, let's dive in to this for fans of section, right? Uh, this place, I think there are some very good examples that are very similar throughout the Denver Metro. And partly because it's such like a classic suburb. And it, and like we said, it has like the, the blandness of a suburb. And what makes a suburb bland, what makes anything bland, is probably that there's a lot of the same thing. Um, so there's quite a few options that I think are good examples and good, you know, uh, cousins or whatever to Thorn. The first of which is Westminster. I think Jen and I referenced Westminster <laughs> a bunch of times during this video because they are similar. A um, lot in common, even geographically, they're very, very close together. Uh, the other one would be Broomfield. Broomfield is a little further out, a little closer to Boulder, and maybe not quite as suburby uh, and bland, but there's definitely a lot of that going on as well. So a lot of people who are looking at Thornton are considering Broomfield uh, as well. North Glen is another one. North Glen geographically is right next door. Very, very similar. You're gonna have a lot in common. <laughs> Truly, so much going on that is uh, very, very similar across the two. Um, and then as we get away from this area, the, the couple spots that really come to mind um, are Centennial, right? Centennial, basically because it's so suburban, it's huge, there's a wide variety of housing stock um, and sort of lifestyles available to you. But again, it just, it's got all that suburbness, you know, it is just suburb bill, uh, <laughs> normal town. Yeah. But, and then I think there are two others, probably even more, but two others that come to mind because what they share, um, like when Westminster is that they have 
such a huge variety. They have some sections that are maybe like not as aesthetically pleasing, not as uh, well cared for, slightly lower looking pride of ownership, cheaper spots. But then, you know, the further out from the city you get, the, uh, the more expensive and the more epic and the more, you know, high end luxurious kind of aesthetics you'll find. And those are Aurora, um, which I have a video, we have a video on Aurora, like best neighborhoods in Aurora. It's a massive video, it took a long time to shoot. Um, and yeah, I'd love if you check that out. Aurora has, uh, there's a little bit of a, an idea for that people have about what Aurora is um, and it's just, it's not even fair to blanket statement anything about Aurora because it is so different all the way throughout. And then the last one is Lakewood. Lakewood has the same thing. As you are closer into Denver, it's older and you know, some of the spots aren't as well cared for. As you head out west toward the mountain, it gets huge and epic and you know, like very like high end kind of neighborhoods going on there. So I think that's plenty for you to choose from. Again, if you're looking for more options, naturally get a hold of us and we'll begin to go down that that road with you and uh thanks for watching this has been a fun video to shoot uh say what's up to jen in the comments and if you haven't done so yet subscribe to the channel what are you doing we're killing it out here no <laughs> we're, we're spending a lot of time on these videos um and I, I hope that you can see that and i hope it shows through so see you guys in the next video Bye bye